Yes, great. Uh, dear Orlando Ledbetter, Orlando Journal Constitution, uh, could you uh, discuss, uh, you know, uh, coming to the Falcons and how you think you can fit in and help them out on defense? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity, you know, to, to be in this position. Uh, I just want to thank the Atlanta Falcons for giving me a chance. Uh, great blessing. And, you know, I think I'm just going to put my head down and work. You know, I, I'm not really worried about that right now as we speak. But, you know, right now I'm focused on just going out there and doing my job and doing the best that I can and going and putting my head down and just continuing to work. Yeah, I know um, Kyle Hamilton's up there. Have you talked to him about coming to Atlanta yet? I have not. I have not. But, uh, yeah, he's a home. He's from Atlanta, so that would be cool if he was able to go down there. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yep. Jeff Schultz? Yeah, I was wondering, you're, you're coming to a team that um, obviously is going through a lot of changes, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm wondering, do you think you can benefit from that? The fact that basically everything is pretty much wide open with a new coaching staff and a lot of ros potentially roster spots available? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just focused on kind of what's important right now. You know, whatever the coaches ask me to do, whatever they're uh, informing me to do, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability, you know. Um, obviously, I don't really know exactly what that is right now because I just got picked. But when the time comes and when I when they tell me what to do, I'll be able to do that to my best of my ability, and we'll go forward from there. And, and the other thing I wanted to ask you, I think I read that you only, you didn't take football up until the eighth grade. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, seventh grade. Seventh grade. And yeah. and did you like it right away, or did it take a while before you liked it? Or I'm just curious. Um, what that was I mean, like. I, I feel like I was watching football before then, but I didn't really know what it was to play there. And then finally, I feel like. You know, once I started to play eighth grade, ninth grade, I really realized, like, you know, I really love the sport. I really love what it does. It gives me uh, an, an opportunity to just release from everything that's going on in the uh, outside world and just play the sport. So I think once once I once I grew into it a little bit, you know, gave me a year, year and a half. I really, really started to love the sport. Thank you. Michael Rothstein. Hi, how are you? Uh, how much do you, did you learn from guys like Julian O'Quara, guys that you you know were playing with and that behind at least for a little bit at Notre Dame? Like, how much did you take from them? Because it seems like Notre Dame's really had this kind of run of edge rushers and defensive linemen over the last you know five six years. Yeah, I learned a lot from them. You know, I learned a lot from Julian, Khalid, Isaac. You know, all those guys who were in front of me, I learned a lot from. And that was you know at my stage. In the program, when I first got recruited, I was, you know, very, very small. I wasn't playing right away. So I had to look in front the people in front of me and see what they were doing well and see the things that I could learn from them and do do that. And I think that's what the culture is at Notre Dame and the defensive line. You know, you see a lot of the older guys really taking lead and leading by example and then the younger guys following right after. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Charles Odom. Congratulations. Um, can you talk about your progression through your career at, at Notre Dame and, and what was the key for you to um, reach the point where you not only, you know, had your most product, your, your best production with the seven sacks, but also being named team captain? Yeah, I think, um, you know, for, for my for my journey, it was a little different. You know, I, I had to develop and get stronger in the weight room. And, you know, I, I took pride in that. I took pride in going in the weight room. I took pride in going and getting after work, you know, to work on my craft because I knew you know, when when my opportunity was call, called, I couldn't mess that up. So, you know, for me, it was just working on my development, getting stronger, getting bigger, getting faster, continuing to work on my craft. And when the opportunity was called on my senior year, my fifth year to start and really be a leader in this team, you know, I, I try to take full advantage of that. Kelsey Conway. Hey, um, I'm just going to follow up um, on the question you just kind of talked about, how you kind of grew into your role. I think I read that you gained 50 pounds from the first day that you enrolled at Notre Dame. Is is that correct? And if so, how did, how did you gain all that weight? Yeah, I gained around like 40, 40 pounds. And, you know, I, I think it was pretty bad weight at first. You know, I kind of was eating whatever I could put my hands on because obviously I was a little light. So Taco Bell, Mickey D's, Wendy's, the typical. But, you know, I think... I learned about, you know, what it meant to 
really put the right food in my system and then also get, you know, build that muscle. And we had a great strength staff at Notre Dame and also nutrition staff with Coach Bayless. You know, he was there always uh, pushing you to be the best that you could possibly be. And, you know, I just let him just take care of the rest. And for me, it was just put my head down and work every day. And I think I read that you enrolled at Notre Dame when you were 17 years old. Um, yeah. Is that correct? And why did you, what made you enroll so early? Uh, I kind of just put into school real early. So I just thank my mom for that, my dad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I was kind of enrolled at a young age. So, you know, obviously I wasn't as, you know, mature as everybody else, but I think I did all right. So, Thanks. Yeah.